Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through how to make a word art into an image. So let me show you one that I've used like that, and I have this Welcome to Little Gasparilla Island um, made for a title bar for a PowerPoint, and I did that in word art, and then I just made it a graphic so it would be easier for my students to handle when they had so many other things they had to do for the actual PowerPoint. So let's get into that. Let me just launch a blank PowerPoint. There we go. And let me just put a background in. And I'll use a picture background. And that one will work. Close that out. Now, the word art part. Okay, we can go into insert on your tabs and go to word art. And uh, we can pick, uh, since I've got orange kind of going on, let me pick one of these. And I'll type in. And I can change the font, of course, and make it something a little different instead of just the, the default font. Let me try papyrus. And it's bold, got a little shadow going on, maybe. Um, and then I can go to Format, Tab, and if I didn't, ended up not liking that, I could pick different choices. And I can click on the little down arrow here to reveal all of the word art choices. Different colors, uh, different way the outside and inside of the text is done. And you can just try out different ones and see which ones you like best. That one may not show up enough. Let me go back up to this one. And maybe we'll go with that one. Um, let me pull it up here. And like, if that was a title bar, for instance, and then I can work with text effects as well. I already have another video on that one. I could transform it. Uh, also put some reflection in it. I think it kind of works nicely on some of these, as long as it doesn't get in the way of your other items on the slide. You can um, also go to Shape uh, Outline. And, you know, you can change the outline, whoops, not that one, uh, text outline, I should say, text outline. I can change it, make it up a little brighter, putting the outline around each letter like a bright yellow, brighten it up a bit. Um, and like I showed on text effects, you can go to text effects and do other things with the transform tool, for instance, um, and work with that a little bit. You can modify it with that. Like I said, but that's a whole nother video. Um, now, also, to what we want to get around the point of the video is to, if you want to make it a image, to make it an image, and um, real easy to do. It works in PowerPoint like this, but Word Art in Word does not work like this. So if I right click, I will on the, uh, let me get on the border, um, of the finished one and you can select when you right click save as picture and it will give you the screen where you can just name it you know LGI whatever here save it in your folder and you can it can become a logo for you that you use repeatedly uh, in PowerPoint or Word or any other um, program that you need an image and it will work just fine like that and um, this one I can go back and save it in my folder as um, LGI logo and just hit save button and now it uh, it can become an image so I can go up to insert picture and go back to that same folder and there's the LGI logo now as an image and I can just insert it and here it shows up again uh, up here, it's actual text that I can still jump in and edit and change. Down here, it's just one graphic. So, I hope that helps you with your logo design and or making it easier to do uh, title stuff in your PowerPoints or your Word. Okay, thank you for your time.